Hello and good evening and welcome. Um, it, it's rather wet Thursday evening, but uh, but here we are, raring to go. I'll uh, bring in my earworm, or ear maggots as he likes to call them. Oh no, I've had, I've just pressed the wrong button then. There we go. And hello, Keith. Hello, Andy. It's all right, just muting uh, one because I've got two different, I've got time lapse. All oh, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm just, oh, I'm muted on YouTube, so I'm all right. Good. Yeah, I'm Good. muted on YouTube now. Yep. Yeah. Welcome, muted. everybody. And uh, today we're going to have a bit of bit of fun, as you've seen from the thumbnail on my on my, my notice of this 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 evening. We're doing a a tic tac toe, as I believe the Americans call it. We call it noughts and crosses over here, but it's not going to have any noughts or crosses involved at all. It's just basically a flat board on which you can play noughts and crosses. And uh, it's going to involve some um, airbrush spraying and a bit of masking. Uh, but let's get the board made first. So if I move over to the lathe. Dump me in the background. Oh, yes, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's... I've got a rather crappy picture of me. I must sort this camera out. Uh, which one are we going to do? That one, I think. Yes, that looks all right. It's there. There's the piece of wood. It's a piece of ash. Um. I picked up a whole load of ash from a good friend of mine. It comes from the Leckenfield estate, which is near us here in, in West Sussex. And uh, this is part of it. Right, there we are. A bit closer. The, the timber has got, it's, it's got a few flaws in it. As you can see, that's a big split there. I could almost put my finger in there. That's all going to be turned away because this is far thicker than I need it. So don't worry too much about that. I hope it won't fall off. I've glued it numerous times so it should stay exactly where it is so am i going to get in the way there a bit let's come up a bit that might help yeah it might let's try it oh, i haven't turned my lathe on again i keep doing that Right, here we go. Right, well, uh, Andy's making a noise on that. I'll uh, read yes, out you, the uh, participants, if I can get back over to that list. Come on. Yes. There it is. Right, first one is management tonight. Alison, hello, Alison. Followed by your good self, Barry Chitty, Brian at Hartwood. Hi, Brian. Copper Owl, which is um, the Rob, Doug Miller, that was fun round. Eric Winkler, Robert at Hodgepodge, Ian Leonard, Dave Cabin, John McDonald, Paul, um, Paul Heighton. The, the great Steve Turner, Rob CP, Robert Dolman, and Robin Gill. Hi, Robin. Let's go back over to StreamYard. This is quicker. And if I've missed anyone out, Put your name in the bottom, unless I pick you up on the way through. Woodworm Paul, I can see, is in. Martin at Woody's Creations is in. Steve Scott's in. So we've got quite a few in at the moment. was an interesting piece you did lunchtime um, Brian I didn't get to watch all of it I watched most of it but uh, we'll catch it on uh, replay probably tomorrow morning early but, uh, can't say that I've actually seen that one before but, 
Yes, an interesting turn. Yes, it's. I thought so. Yeah, quite fascinated by that. I'm going to mm. put the, the bigger, bigger rest on here. I think. Give me a bit more room. That um, oh. that huge split has almost healed itself. Good in here. It's almost it's closed up, and it's and it's yep. full of glue now. So mm. so I'm quite happy with that. Well, that's going to be the base anyway, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes, it is. But it's not going to fall off, that chunk. No. no. It's well stuck. So a so. lot of that will disappear. Yep. So <sighs> same as ever, guys. If you have a question, can you prefix it with some cues or some question marks? Um, my internet is quite slow tonight, so... Do apologise in the zone. Keep putting it in. Doing it deliberately. So what's the weather like around the world, guys? West Sussex tonight is overcast and it's damp. Just left off raining. Two spots in the air, but uh, at least it's breathable air at the moment. The storm we were promised last night didn't materialise, fortunately. That went across the Kent coast. They had it quite uh, quite heavy down there, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Cloudy, really dry had... and warm in York. They haven't had as much as they forecast. Steve says it's from Steve Scott's raining in heaven. So we've probably got that to come yet, then. Sunny and hot in Newcastle. It's only about 80 at F in Kentucky. Well, yeah, it's just showing off out there, Doug. But, uh, <laughs> hot and sunny in Swansea. That's unusual for Swansea to be hot and sunny. Yeah, there's something wrong there. Yeah. You sure you've uh, not moved, Malcolm? <laughs> Brian's saying it's uh, been a beautiful day up, up in the Northern Ireland. And Barry's telling us it's raining in Little Hampton, so looks like we have got that to come. Yeah, it's fought its way over the downs. We'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant sunshine in the world, according to Paul Heighton. 82 in Michigan. Hot and sunny in Liverpool, so there's a well and truly a, a good um, scope of weather ac across yes. the country and across the world. Mm. This Wherever is just Malcolm going to Douglas. Is it's been beautiful all week. Go on. It's been too hot here. Um, this is this is going to form a handle, so you can pick the thing up when it's on a table. Just if anybody's wondering why I'm doing this. Following this out, can you see that? Not particularly yep. well. You, yeah, we can might. see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it on that, can't you? you? See the shape on there, yeah. Yep. You can't see can what you I'm pull doing. The camera, yeah, can you pull the camera towards you a bit? That's better. Oh, oh, oh I'm good. losing it. Slid to the headstock. That's it. Yeah, it's a bit floppy. This one is that better? All right. We'll, we'll survive. Surely you can good. see what you're doing. Richard Phelan's in. I haven't called him out yet. Hello, Richard. So this bit, this, this bit here is going to form the, the foot 
I should be hollowing the out the underneath out and and putting a, a, a mortise in to for when I turn it over just so you get some idea of where I'm going the top I've obviously got to take a bit off it to get rid of the mortise that we're in at the moment There's a comment on here from Rob CP. The piece in the thumbnail for this live is beautiful. Well, it's going to be similar, Rob, but not quite the same. Just a bit smaller. Yeah. Because that was... Um, actually, I can show you that one. <sighs> can you see it over here? Yes, it's, it's, it's so big, I can't actually get it under the camera. Yeah, just about see it there. But yeah, yeah, anyway, that, that's it. It's about, what, well, probably 15 inches diameter. Um, but it was one I did, oh, God, some years ago when I first started watching Stuart doing his, his colouring. And I thought I'll have a go with a bit of masking tape and see what happens. And that, that was what came out. So I thought it'd be fun to do a smaller one tonight. Terry Hooper's just... Uh, Disappearing and catch up tomorrow. Okay, okay Terry. Cool cheers Terry out. The excitement's too much for him. Yeah. Feel that though. He's uh, worrying about your stomach again. <laughs> I can understand that. Gerard's saying you don't complain about the weather when you work in the kitchen. No, I've done kitchen work, and he's absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, it's I've got a few gaps. in a kitchen, but it's only been plumbing work, not uh, not chefing. Yeah, I was kitchen yeah, porter I when I did it. Right. Up at the hospital in East Grinstead when I was at school. Uh huh. Long, long, long time ago. Well, I'm just going to trim the memory's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> I'll trim the edge off just to make it so that it's actually round. There's a little bit of that crack showing in there, but um, nothing to worry about too much. It looks like it's holding anyway. Yeah, it's holding. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yep. I've just nearly, nearly done the edge. Just do a bit more. do for that right let's get the middle dish out now a little bit and the mortise marked out and on there and uh, I haven't done that uh, what's the measurement Seventy. Seventy-one. Oh, God, the brain's going only going I think it's 71 mil, isn't it? I've got it written up there somewhere. See, Jaws? Oh, 64. Is that right? Yeah, 64. Some mortis. Right, there's the middle. So 32, about there. 64 is about there somewhere. We'll get it somewhere near that. About there. Okie doke. Right. Steve Scott's so. turned some resin pen banks today. Much prefer to turn wood, although the resin looks nice. I agree with you there, Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. There it is. There. I get sunburned at times and really helps me laughing. We're talking about witch hazel. Oh, right, yeah. Robin come back and said, sunburn lay on a cold, damp towel over over the area until it gets warm, then repeat until no longer warm to the touch. Aloe vera is also good for that. 
Come here. Fifteen minutes in. It's not bad. Nearly done the underneath. Bit sanding, but yeah. But for some unknown reason, YouTube's not telling me how many viewers you've got tonight. Do I? Yeah. How very strange. Let's have a look. Tells me you've got two hundred and thirty-eight subscribers, but uh, I've got tw twenty-five watching now. Yeah, let me refresh yeah. and see if that just un just under the tic tac toe game bit. Twenty seven watching. Yeah, just refreshed it. it uh, oh, good. Yeah, right. it had healed. All right, so that's not yes. bad. Welcome, guys. The night is young. Mm. Right. Ooh. That base, unless it's the picture, looks as if it's domed. I'll, I'll check that. I don't want it domed. Oh, no, I haven't hollered it yet, have I? It's very fractionally domed. Absolutely. I mean, half a, mil half, eyes, you see. half a millimetre. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I've got to hollow it. I, I've just realised I haven't done that. I've cut the... Because that's the hollow foot to there. Yeah. Before you put the foot in, yeah, right. Should have done. I've got plenty of timber, so it's not a problem. So Paul's asking everyone to give you the thumbs up. Thank you, Paul. Rob's telling me there's 27. David J. Heath has just joined us. The man with a good surname. Yeah. Possibly. Some say, others yeah. tell the truth. Looks like Lionel's what? in as well. Didn't see him that... pop in, but uh, messing about with YouTube and StreamYard, you yeah. sometimes miss bits. That'll do for that. Now I'll cut the mortars again. That'd be plenty. It's only a small piece, isn't it? Yeah. Practice. Gerard showing off in French, and that means absolutely nothing to me, Gerard. You could be having a good slanging match, and I would not know. <laughs> I'll have a look at him in a minute. I don't <laughs> suppose I'd recognise it, but I do uh, recognise some French. And he's laughing now. <laughs> it's too late to shut in an hour. What? No, something like that. <laughs> I no, didn't get that right. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't get any of it. <laughs> I think I've missed the gist of it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, it's all right. Schoolboy French. I mean, that's all I've got to go on. Right, so. I haven't covered my... Good job it's not flying in this direction, and it? I haven't covered my keyboard up. Jay's cabin's <laughs> off. Not Sorry? work. Ne Jay's cabin's off. All right. Need to, not not work. Need to go and put my head in the pillow. <laughs> Bored already. And look at this tomorrow. It's ten p.m. where he is. Oh, Eleven well, hours to work. Fair dues. Yeah, that's yep. a good enough excuse. Tommy, you're tucked up in bed. Yep. Mm. Right. I can't be bothered to. Do anything mechanical and sending. Yeah, uh, Gerard's going to switch back to English. Thanks, Gerard. <laughs> yeah, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know what's wrong with that. No blast gates. At the right place. Yep. That's it. That'll do it. I thought it was strange it wasn't going down the tube. That's better. Mm. 
Yeah, just trying this Abronet out. I quite like it. I like it for um, acrylics and pens. I'm not so keen on it for wood. No, I just thought I'd try it. I, just, I, yeah. I like the way you can just knock it out and it's, it cleans it all up. Yeah, it's damned expensive, but it does last quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what I paid for it, to be honest. We used to sell it at club, but uh, everyone was complaining that it was too expensive. <laughs> Well, that's three times the price of... Uh, that's a surprise, yeah. Yeah, a normal <laughs> abrasive. So we decided yeah. not to do it. And then two or three of them said, oh, that's all I use. Yeah. yeah. Well, why did yeah, you, you never win then? again? You yeah. never win. No, it was Rich put me onto it and, you know, said, have you tried mm. this? Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll order some and try it. And I must admit, I quite like it. Yeah. I, I, like I say, I quite like it for acrylics when you can knock it out. Because acrylics do tend to block up or clog up um, standard yeah, broken yeah. papers. I don't tend to use acrylic very much. No. Very occasionally I do pens, but I haven't done any pens for ages because I've got enough enough stock of them. I do pens, but I don't do very few acrylics. And Hodge is saying it's great for wet sanding as well, the Abronet. I would yes. imagine it would be, because you can knock yes. the slurry out. Yes. Yes, I can imagine that. Well, that'll do for that. I can I can actually Yorkshire grit this underneath. So Joe's not in. So the only one that we've got is Brian. So it looks like it's going to be Brian that's going to be doing the singing tonight then. <laughs> I've got a few few bits on there which I'd rather have got rid of but I'll uh, give that some attention later <laughs> okay, wait, before you go any further you're only 22 Sorry? minutes in oh true yep you've got an hour and a half tonight before Rich comes on yep Rich is on at 9 o'clock tonight invading yeah, got, some, got some bits around there End grain. Sanding marks, but yeah. Yeah, Rich is invading um, Colin tonight. He's supposed to. Is he put it up now then? Yes. Because I looked yeah. the other day and there was nothing there. No, it came up um, just before I come on, I think. Oh, I right. checked it. So. He said he was going to put on the fact that I'm doing his for him on Tuesday. So with you doing Rich's Tuesday night, I shall, Andy and I are swapping over. Originally, I was going to be doing Thursday evening. Now I'm going to be doing Tuesday lunchtime, and Andy's going to be doing Thursday evening, rather than having to do two lives in one day. Uh, it's very considerate old, of you. Old, old fella could handle it. I didn't think so. We, well, yeah, no, we, it's we all a bit much. Around. <laughs> bit much for me. Yeah. No, I'd have, I'd have had a go, but it's probably better not to. <laughs> it's quite tiring. Yeah. You don't realise until you, you collapse until you in sit, the chair afterwards. Until you sit down afterwards, yeah. 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 Right. I think that should do it. It's going to have to now. That's better. That's better. Copy. dum de dum de dum 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 de dum de dum 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 That link is for, when it comes up, is for Richard's invade tonight when he invades Colin. Oh, good. Yes, I shall watch that one. Colin's one of our regulars, isn't he? Yes, yeah. And Eric's saying to you, or questioning you, when we sand to 400 and still see small scratches, can you use Yorkshire Grip? before using shellac and after using shellac. Um, if you're using Yorkshire grit, Eric, you need to put shellac on or a sanding sealer on first. And if you wanted to put sanding sealer over it afterwards, you would end up with a bit of a problem because it's got wax in it. 
It's got yeah. beeswax and other waxes. So the only it's way really is to is to wash it. Wash yes. it with, with meths or something similar. Yep. Denatured alcohol if you're not in, yeah. not in this country. Um, that, that will allow you to uh, to do other things on top of it. God, this nice. is getting very, very gloopy if, in there. <laughs> yeah. Put some, if, I must put some more thinness in it. If you're getting down to 400 grit and then still seeing marks, Eric, I am suggest that you not using the Yorkshire grit to its full capacity. You can double Yorkshire grit it if you need to, if you, if you can still see a mark after you've done it once. And we've got the light shift just popped in. And she's uh -huh. got you on telly tonight, mate. Worked oh, really? Who's, to you on telly. Who's that? Lula. Oh, Lula, Lula, Lula. yeah, yeah. They've got a huge, <laughs> huge television. Christ. She'll be down with Robin on uh, in their place. Ah, right, right. Christ, don't make his head too big, Lula. I bet that must be quite scary watching me on something that size. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's horrid. That is horrid. I've got to do something with that. Sanding sealant, it's gone all sprodgy and it's, it's dried far too quickly. Never mind, I'll put um, Yorkshire grit no, on top. Most that of should, that will come off with Yorkshire grit. I was going to say, that Yorkshire grit will sort that out. And the if good I lady use, just uh, said, very scary. <laughs> He's uh, commenting to Lucy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Alison, for your confidence. Yeah. So I'm going to use a a safety cloth rather than paper. Let's turn that thing off. That's better. Eric says is. he can see scratches in his walnut bowls many times. Um, his walnut will show them. Yes. If they're there, but. Um, but I'd, the darker to be, woods to, tend to. My my usually would be actually if I wasn't using the abronet, I would be going to twelve hundred grit, which is what I always used to do, and I still do occasionally if I feel like it. And then, uh, and that that gets rid of anything like that. But then, if I really want to, I can go go over it with Yorkshire grit after that as well. Uh, so Yorkshire grit, there we are, just to show I'm using it. Mm -hmm. I'm if, not sponsored got, by anybody, but no. Sorry, go on. If I was just going to say to Eric, if you've got reverse on your lathe, Eric, um, go through the grits one forward, one reverse, one forward, one reverse. That helps shift very small grit marks, uh, sanding marks, because you're sanding off the fluffy bits that you're lifting by running yeah. the lathe the opposite way around. But if you're doing that, make sure your chuck is uh, fixed onto the spindle. Yeah, which I haven't done this on this one tonight, so right. I won't be doing that. But uh, but yes, it, it does get that those awkward bits of end grain, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, mine's fixed on all the time because I'll actually turn in reverse a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. But I can't keep swapping chucks as I should be doing later. No, but it's whatever works for you. But uh, you shouldn't yeah. be getting that much in the way of uh, grip marks. Unless you're unless you're pressing marks. too hard. Yes, if you're pressing too hard with the glass paper, that will do and it. And if you're using cheap glass paper, that is probably the worst thing you can do because it's uh, it might say four hundred grip, but it's possibly got. A bit of 80, a bit of 120, yes, and a bit yeah. of 600 in there. A bit of anything Probably mixed good, in, yeah. Uh, yeah, a yeah, yeah. good reverse. Now, Eric says he's not got to reverse on his mini lathe. All right, yeah. How quaint. But we won't wind him up. That. We save that for Steve. Mm. Yeah, well, he's only got a mini lathe. Yeah, yeah. That's nice and clean. Yep. Mm -hmm spotless the suggested sanding time for yorkshire grit to work it in properly is three minutes from applying it but uh this hasn't been three minutes but uh, we no but it's it's coming away clean so 
Yeah, we don't have the time to uh, spend. Well, I'm sure you don't want to stand. Don't want to no, sit there it's not, watching. Not me. going to be an exhibition piece, shall we say? No, uh, no not with these splits in it. No. <laughs> right, a bit of um, bit of the Yorkshire grit. Yorkshire fine. That, yeah. Mi microfine. Mi microfine abrasive paste. Yeah. So the standard one takes it from um, two forty up to a thousand, or wherever you finish sanding, and this one then goes from a thousand up to an equivalent of about 2000 so if you've got this white one eric you could use this after the after the uh, the original and that will it really does bring it up to a lovely yeah, shine decrease the uh, the scratches even more yeah i've screwed this up basically by using my um sanding sealant the, the brush on one right which has gone which has gone very thick and gloopy in this weather yeah don't need to leave the lid off very long for it to no, evaporate. No, yeah, the lid is on, but I think it's not mm. fitting awfully well because it's so got so much muck underneath it. But um, I should put some more thinner in it. Can't throw it away; that would be wasteful. Oh, can't do that. <laughs> but these two Probably together do. Sorry, go. On. And so the problem with throwing it away is, where do you throw it away these days? Yes. Yes. Yes, I have a little the drain. I have a little patch behind my shed. Yes, but where I, I only put small quantities in it. You know, if I had a lot to get rid of, I don't know. I'd have to take it up to the tip, I suppose. Right, that's going to do that. And what I'll do is buff it afterwards with um, Carnuba. Right, well, it's the, the three the three waxes basically, but finishes with Carnuba, um, which will give it the the. The, the tougher finish yeah and a high gloss and a, and a tougher finish let us know how that works uh, or if it works eric it's always handy to know that uh, something we suggest and you try and it, whether it works or not good that's that we all done turn, all turn slightly different we've all got different techniques yeah um, you know, that's why there's so many different finishes, abrasives, and bits and pieces out there. If we all use the same, uh, you know, someone would be fairly rich. Now, what Andy's yep. just done is he's he's loosely tightened it on, uh, or loosely fitted it on the chuck, and then just swung it round a complete turn to get rid of any crap and crud that might have worked itself into the mortise. So the mortise now has been cleaned by the four jaws. So it, it makes it sure it's a really nice fit, doesn't it? Like, yes. Yeah, see, if you've been using thick cell cellulose sealer, um, like you have, you can get a, an odd bead in there. So it's it's something I I do all the time, and Andy it's does a tip it most I, of the time. Tip I picked up from you actually, Keith. So right. Thank you. For, right. Thank you for that. Yeah. Right. So. That's the that's the bottom done. I'll, I'll pick out the bits of <laughs> bits of paper that are stuck in that crack there, but um, do that later. But um, the the top is just got to be flat, completely flat. So I should do that. Using a slightly larger bowl gouge, it's just a bit more sturdy. But I haven't got room to get it in there. That's a slight problem. That's better. Now I'll go back to the smaller one. Brian's put a comment in there, really good for using with lacquer as well. Um, I think what Brian's referring to is the Yorkshire Grit Ultrafine, Microfine. Yeah. Gives you a lovely finish. Yeah. That's, uh, it does give you a nice finish on it. Another, another little tip for the um, micro fine Yorkshire grit is that if you put it on 
coloured or discoloured headlamp lenses, it polishes them up a treat. Yes, I gather, yeah. Yeah, because uh, over here the MOT will fail a vehicle on uh, cloudy lenses, dirty lenses. Uh, rather than buy new lenses, you can clean them up with these microcrystalline or microfine. This is not too much danger of a funnel with this. No, it would be quite an aggressive cut. Eric Winkler saying, can you get a good finish with lacquer if you brush it on? <laughs> if you really work at it, yeah. It's not easy. No. The problem with lacquer is it's cellulose based, so it will dry and to brush anything you really need a wet edge so that yeah. you don't overload it. Otherwise, you're going to get two or three Bits, if, uh, three, yeah, two yeah. or three coats in one place and one coat in others. So it's the problem um, I've just had on the back of this. Actually, mm. it dries too quickly, especially if it's a bit stodgy to start with, and it, and the weather's hot. It will dry far too quickly. The answer is to thin it really thin. I put lots and lots of thin coats on. That way, you can get away with it. It's much like the old um, shellac or French polishing. The shellac that they use for French polishing is quite thick, but they thin it down put on many very thin coats. But they put that on with a rubber made up. I was going to say that's um, that's the other answer pad. to use. Yeah, use a, make a pad up. So uh, it's not something I would suggest, Eric. If you can spray it on with a can, um, so much better. It's hard work otherwise. Yeah. And Mr. Takes Traffic Light's of... just come in. He's made it. Peter Cochran. Oh, he's oh, had his hello, daughters. Peter. So, oh, he's dear, probably been fed tonight then. This one's gone hollow. The bottom was radius, but hey, can't win them all. Right, okay. Bit there, bit there. hear that split going past, can't you? Yes. It's quite hard, that bit. Let's see how we're going. Oh, I've still got to go a bit more. I really don't want it, don't want it that much thinner, but straight, I'll straight. do a little. Yeah, I, I will do in a minute. It's, it's, it's still quite a bit out, so I'll do one more cut. Then go to the scraper, I think. The big Simon Hope straight one. <clears throat> Right. Could go a bit quicker actually would help. It's 
getting there. A little bit more. That's very nearly there. Nearly there. I wonder if that one would work any better. Where's it gone? Where's my big scrape gone? I've lost it. Never mind, we'll carry on with this one. That should be somewhere near. Yes, that's fine. That's enough. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Put that away there. That was the disadvantage of having to glue it. Yes. The glue is a lot harder than the wood. Yeah, and that inclusion was hard as well. Mm. Going across there. Right, quicksand. Oh, yes, quicksand. And then we can start colouring it. Just coming up to half time, mate. 43 Lovely. minutes in. Yeah, we're doing all right because we're on the pretty bits now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then if I don't. how long they take, though. Yeah, if I don't get to make the counters, it's not the end of the world because I've got four of each colour made anyway. Mm. So I can show how I made them. But hopefully we'll have time. Yeah, this is the more important part, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How we deal with issues that we get, and everyone's come in to see the, uh, the colouring. I'm sure. So like that'll We're going up, up through the grits now to about twelve hundred. Gone, gone to twelve hundred on this, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's not it's not perfect, but it's going to do the job. Fortunately, with these things, you can always take it off. If you don't like it, you've got the fixing on the back. You can always stick it on the lathe and turn it down again. As, as Stuart Vereen will be the first to tell you. Mm. He <laughs> repurposes several of his, doesn't he? <laughs> he loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to swap things around a bit so I don't really want the tail stock anymore. So we'll stick that down there out of the way. Put my newly made tray of airbrushes, which you can't see at all. There it is. It just slots on the lathe mm -hmm. and everything's to hand. 
I should put that that on there to keep keep the lathe a bit cleaner. And somewhere in here. Oh no, that's no good. That's not for this. That's for something else. Anyway, not to worry. Um, in fact, I can if I can find it. That, that one I do. Don't tell the wife. Wife. <laughs> put tea towel over it. I'm not going to be over spraying too much. Right. No, you're not gonna, so. You're, not taking it off to spray then i was i thought about it it's actually easier if it's there okay turn it around and, and get to it i will do when, I, when, I, when i'm putting masking tape on and things although right, in the past i've done it off with the tail stop camera then uh, that's very true for that you need that one or that's, that one that's pretty good that's all right isn't it? yeah yeah that's i think that's that good. one yes yeah, just check the focus on that. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Righty ho. We're going to start with yellow, giving nobody any choice. <laughs> um, so I've got it all set up, and we're going to spray it. I'm going to want quite a lot of this on there. There was a bit of red in it. Damn, I didn't clean that as well as I might have done, did I? Can't see it. No, it's, it goes it across. Show. Yeah, goes across there, but it's uh, it's, it's going to be covered with lots of other things. So. But you start with your lightest colours on these sort of things. Yellow is not a great colour on ash usually, but it will just give it a hint of colour. It's one of those colours that you can put over a white wood just to lift the white wood. That's right. You didn't yeah. really want to put any colour on it. I occasionally use it on pens if I'm doing uh, U-pens, and I've got heart and sapwood in it it just lifts the sapwood to right. a different yep. uh, different degree without killing the color of anything well i'm going to take that out of there now because i've got to start putting it's, it's nearly dry it dries very very quickly yeah it's a spirit so it's not going yeah. to take long tonight so Should now we can't see a thing Right, now then, let's go for that one, and we'll, I can't get it any bigger, oh, I might do better on that one, uh, which one is it, that one? No, nope, that's in, not the in one. frame, it, we'll see it. That's too close. This is the one. Right. You're going to have to move it. That's it. That's better, isn't it? It's still reflecting a bit. Yeah, that's the, that's the ceiling lights. I can't do much about those. Okay. Oh, that's, that's better. better. If, I, if I come back there, move yep. the camera down. So there, I've just rechanged the focus. All oh, this thing is a nightmare to do. Sorry about this. Bear with me. And Robert's saying they uh, they make pills to help you with that, Andy. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to make any comment at all. There we are. That's leave the bloody thing alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see which way it wants to go. It wants to go backwards. That's better. Yeah. It's because this is sideways on. It's all yeah. all over the place. Right. Anyway, that's that. The next thing I've got to do is put some masking tape on, and I've drawn myself. Here we are. A little template, a pencil, 
Now I like to get things going in the direction of the grain where possible, so like that. And it's gone a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to, so we'll just lift that up and put a mark there, and there, and there, and there. there right okay that's that done with on that one this one so 10 mil masking tape give a fairly narrow line if i had a steady hand it would help that's because you've been drinking already <laughs> i wish in that case i'll have one yeah, have one for me. Yeah. Like that. On there, that one on there. It's all very simple. What I'm planning to do is just turn a little a rim on the on the the, the, the board get rid of the edges so my pencil lines on here will, will not matter they'll be gone in case anybody was wondering i don't suppose anybody was really right there we are next thing i want to do is put a bit of uh, pattern on there because it's all a bit bland and boring isn't it so i have these template yes you can see that you can see that mm -hmm. i'm just going to splodge bits around all over the place in black Mr. for any patterns absolutely lots of lots of the ideas come from stuart mm -hmm. god bless him yeah stuart is a member of uh, or we're a member of the same club as stuart so we do know him fairly well i think actually i'm going to put it on here because it's going to be easier Now, can we see, please? Uh, uh, oh, I suppose, you, suppose it might be nice for you too. Yeah. Uh, let's try yeah. that one. Yeah. That do you? Fine. Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got to turn my fan off. It's it's blowing this away from <laughs> from from mm. the piece. Uh, That should be better. And it's 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 very much random. Don't want it too dark. I certainly don't want it regular. But you do need to make sure that the pattern is fairly tight to the That's right, the words yes, you get otherwise you get hazing. Creeps back underneath. Mm. That's pretty much what I wanted. just to break up the the, the mm. flatness of the color that's all that'll do it that's lovely beautiful that can go up there I did on the other one i experimented with their colors and did all sorts of strange things but right we're going to do a bit of orange now we got dewey's shed joined us Welcome, Dewey. Hello there. And he's asked you, where do you get the stencils from, if you can remember? Oh, Lord. I didn't think he supplied um, them. It's a long time ago I bought those. Uh, let me see if it says on the on the packet. Kaiser the Craft, that's right. Right. So the, if, if not, the one to ask is um, Stuart, Stuart Farini. 
Yeah, so he's the um, he's the guy that supplies or to, can you uh, see that where to get them. Yep, K K I R S E R K I A I S E R Kaisercroft. That's where they came from. They're in Victoria, Australia. But I think if you if yeah, you do a, a, local a Google, outlets. and if you do a Google search, I'm sure you'll find them because I bought them in this country. Um, I can't remember exactly where from now, but um, it's too long ago. Anyway, a bit of orange. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a hint of orange, orange, so that there's enough of the yellow left showing where the tape is. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yep. Just a suggestion of it. Good turning by Barry's joined us. Hi, Barry. Hello, Barry. And then what I want to do is to sort of put a shadow alongside the uh, the masking tape. And I think I can either do that in black or red. I think I might try red and just see what happens. I've no idea at all. But we will find out the hard way. Nothing like working live. I've done this on some others that I've done um, platters with black. Whoops, best if you go straight. Fortunately, it doesn't matter too much. I'm getting a bit close to it here. It looks like you've missed the right hand horizontals. Yeah, no, it's, it's there. It uh, doesn't show up on the camera very well then. Oh, right. Oh, no. No, it was a bit fainter. But yes, that's there. That'll do for that. And then the only other thing I want to do is, if you look on the, the one that I did, I thought I decided it was not, that the lines were not definite enough. So I did this black, black line. Just a narrow, very narrow black line on each of the... The, the lines, and I shall do that on this one because it, it worked on that one. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the take the masking tape off. This is where you find out whether it worked or not. I really should you can wear certainly see the this. lines. That's right. Yes, it does. And with a bit of black on there, it'll just, they'll just, they'll really zing. They'll stand out, mm -hmm. which is quite nice. So I'm going to take it off of here again. Chucky. Well, oh, that's not bad. That's not, oh, it's run a bit under there, but uh, fortunately, that's a lot of that's going to be covered by my black line that I'm going to do now. I didn't, I probably, camera, mate. sorry, yep, I probably didn't press it down hard enough. That's better. If you can see there, if you can see it, it's, it's run under the tape. Oh, yeah, just a little and, bit. And, and there, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. But what I am going to do is to try get some masking tape on. There. Nice narrow line up there, I think. Trouble is, this stuff it bends when you're pulling it like this. Yeah. So you've got to adjust, adjust the pressure on it, to just straighten it up a bit. Now you want to make sure this is well and truly rubbed down. Nope. Oh, forget that. <laughs> That's a really old roll of tape. Because obviously I don't want the black anywhere other than between these, 
these two pieces so i'm going to mask quite a bit more of it like that and then do the same in the other direction Yeah, that's what I didn't didn't remember to do, isn't it? Mm. Just go you don't over want it. the black going over and under it. No, because that really would look a mess, wouldn't it? Mm. Right, there we are. I think I can do that from here. I want it to be a fairly dense black line. Mark, the gentleman's just joined us. Hello, Mark. Apologises for being late. Hi, Mark. Now, I seem to remember something about cakes from people who are late. Yeah, that's what uh, Robert's <laughs> just asking. Where he's hiding it. No good standing in the corner if you haven't got the cake, Mark. <laughs> oh, that looks all right. That brings it out, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's done it. That's done exactly what I wanted it to do. I'll throw that away. It'd be very wasteful. But hey. Right, I think that's, that's right. He said, put his thumb on there, which has got a great blodge of black on it. Uh, apologies for this. It's going to make it more difficult for you to see, but I'll just do it no, while I do okay. this. I can okay. see what I'm doing then. Is it all right? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. We're, we're above That's, it, so it's not reflecting on it. Yep, no, good. Oh, I've used bigger tape this time. That makes it easier. Louis Pastel would turn in if I've pronounced that right. You name Pastel. Yeah, I should imagine he might be from down under. Don't know. It's not a name I've welcome anyway, Louis. Seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoy what uh, you're about to see. And if everyone subscribes or make sure they subscribed to Andy's channel, he would appreciate that. And he would Certainly also appreciate would. the thumbs up or even the thumbs down just to let YouTube yeah, know John, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, YouTube know that uh, you enjoy watching this sort of thing. So uh, any time that uh, Andy's on or any other wood turners are on, you will get a notification. So I just put my finger on it there. <laughs> that was possibly still wet, was it? Yeah, just a little bit. Mm. Pastel was right, pronounced well, and yes, from the underside of this flat earth. Well spotted. Uh, one of Robbo's mates then. But you're still welcome, Bluey. Bluey. We welcome everybody. 
Well, that's 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 come out reasonably well. I'm quite happy with yeah. that. Yeah. I'll leave it. I shall leave it to dry now, and then pop it back on the lathe. Just take the rim off because that tidies the edges up. Although actually they're not they're not that bad. But I think I will do it just to just to define it a little bit. Okay. Um, so I'll do that later. Then obviously the next thing is to do the counters, which are going to look like that. I've in ebony and and holly. She give a give a nice coloured difference. Holly didn't mind. She gave her permission. Oh yeah, she was she was delighted. In fact, mm. <laughs> yeah, I made I sold, her, I sold a pen to somebody simply because it was made of holly, and their granddaughter was called Holly. So I thought well, that's good enough reason for selling a pen. Yeah. Right. I did so. it for a mate's uh, son who's called Rowan, and it was All made right, out yes. of Rowan. Yeah. Same up. Same up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Ian then are saying the black lines certainly make the section stand out. They do that. They do. They do, yes. Yeah. It, it really does change it. And it's, it's worth doing. It takes it only takes minutes anyway. Yeah. And talking about minutes, you've got uh, you've got 20 minutes left to play. Oh, that, that's that absolutely fine. That leaves these, enough for uh, five minutes really, to get over. These really don't get take very long to do. So, move that out of the way. Oh, no, put it somewhere a bit safe. I'll tell you what I'll do. Move that along to where I need it. Come on, move. And put that back on there. Right, sorry about this. Get myself organised. Yeah, the planning committee's uh, failed again. <laughs> well, it's sort of slightly different technique to turn in this. Right, now then, can you see? No, you can't. So let's go for that one. Bleach now. See that? Turn that off. Not much better, is it? No. What's, this, what's the third that's, one? Is that better? No, no, no. A bit further away we are, really. Okay. What's the other camera. Try. Uh, that's <laughs> not that one. That is, God. That's <laughs> yeah. bloody frightening. This one. Oh, no, it's not. It's that one. Oh. If you ever get it anywhere near the bit you turn in, it'll be good. <laughs> I can't do that one. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Right, it's going to so bleach out a bit because this is white and it's yes. holly. There's nothing Andy can do about this. I'll get onto the ebony in a minute. No, that's too much, isn't it? No, I'll, I'll do yep. it without Right, so the first thing I've got to do is just trim off, trim off this end. Need to try and make sure that that is reasonably flat. Got a little ruler somewhere, but that one will do, which it is. Perfect. And then. I put three little lines around it to match the other, so try, try moving it. Uh, I've just it's dropped in the link for um, Rich's invade later on. Oh, good. Yeah, lovely. Again, for those that have a bit late on parade or missed it. So if you're looking through and trying to find it. So Rich is on at nine o'clock. Yeah, so twenty minutes, so we're all right. Yeah. So, well, it really won't take me many minutes to do these. Right. So the other thing to, that's important is to get the length the same, the, the the height, the thickness of them. So I do that that way. Parting tool. Oh, it's strange with no lights on. Put it on then. No, it's all right. I'm there. I do that before I sand it, just so I can put a slight chamfer on the back edge there. Mm -hmm. And Eric's suggesting that he's going to put some money in the kitty for uh, some tape for you, Andy. <laughs> Thank you, Eric.
I think one of these days, both Andy and I will set up this buy me a coffee link. Yes, yes, I was thinking of that the other day. It's getting round to it and thinking about it at the right time and not yeah. neither of us not really knowing what we're doing with computers. Well, yes, it doesn't help, does it? <laughs> no. I'm sure it can't be too difficult, but he says glibly. Mm. I have already sanded the outside of it, so this won't take many minutes at all. That'll do for me. And what did I do? I think I did a Florida beer did. Yes, very slow uploads at the moment to uh, YouTube and also um, very iffy on uh, speeds as well through uh, YouTube and StreamYard. StreamYard right there Sorry. at the moment because it comes comes up in jumps. Cellulose sanding sealant just to seal it and then I'm just spraying it with acrylic gloss lacquer. And we've got an offer from Mark. If either of us need advice on how to set it up, just message him. Thanks, Thank Mark. you, Mark. I did look at it, but then uh, I thought that's going to take more than five minutes. <laughs> the feed I read. Just let that settle, let that dry. But um, I'll make the same complaint, uh, same excuse for Andy that I have for myself. We were both born too bloody early. Yeah, and that is a problem. Missed out on, uh, missed out on a lot of the te technology that you uh, younger guys know about. Eric Winkler's off. That's why we have Tom, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Don't think he's in tonight, is he? I haven't seen him yet, no. no. But he's... Um, just getting ready for exams or just get over yeah, it? Yeah, he's, he's all, he's all in that sort of period, certainly. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Eric. Yeah, cheers, Eric. One of the first in, if not the, the first. I think the he first, was. if I remember yeah, right. Yeah, I think he was. He's done his time tonight. Right, those, those really are very easy. That's that one done. Now we'll swap it over and put the... There's my chucky, there is. I put the, the bit of ebony in, which is here. Again, all polished and everything beautiful. I'm probably being particular about it, but I will put it in the same way around as I had it before. Beautiful. Do exactly the same to that one as I did to this one. So what have you put in the way? Your, your arm, your body, your head? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's the shutter. There's a shutter on the camera. <sighs> I obviously knocked it. <laughs> Thank you for that. I thought it was... Uh... Either the side of your head or a shoulder, so I didn't say anything earlier on, but uh, we didn't miss anything. No, but it wasn't moving, so... No. I do move occasionally. I'll try and minimise it, but... Yeah, you can say it's risky, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, now then is that... That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Right, let's do the... Mark the width out. Where's it got? There it is. Is that better? Yeah, it's all right, mate. I yeah, can we see can what see. I'm doing now. Yeah. It's a rare treat to turn a bit of ebony in, mate. Yeah, it's not one of my favourite woods. I no, it's just it's, it's just so funny, rare. Funny, yeah, funny smell to it. It this but this bit's not bad, but some of it has certainly yes, absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this bit's quite nice. So I went all the way to Canterbury for this bit. Mm -hmm. Well, and a few other bits. Guy who used to make guitars lived right. in Canterbury and he, he got became allergic to the dust. 
So he said, I've got to get rid of all this. Do you want it? So I said, well, what is it? He said, oh, it's what, ebony and stuff. I'm, yes, I'm on my way. <laughs> so we had a day out in, in, in Canterbury, around the cathedral and mm -hmm. whatever, and picked up this timber. Jolly nice it is too. Yeah, he had all sorts of half-made guitar bodies and things for electric right. guitars. Yeah. yeah. But he obviously used this for the fretboard and things. But you don't say no, do you? Not if you can pick it up. Yes. You yeah, these, were, up. these yeah. were all quite small pieces. But, uh, mm. And it gave you a chance because we'd never been to Canterbury, really, never seen the cathedral. So uh, so it was quite nice to, to be able to go there and do that. Day out. Took a couple of friends. He's in a wheelchair, so we pushed him around. He enjoyed okay. it. So, all good for everybody. Mm -hmm. Not that one. That one. We're nearly there. Oh, got that a bit too close to the middle, but never mind. We've got 15 minutes left, so yep. it's not going to take I'm that done. long to slash that off. And uh, no, I'm just just whip the whip the back off it on the sander, and, and I'm there. To be honest, that's. That's that. Oop. Bit generous. I don't know if that might. Sounding silly. <laughs> a bit, bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, spraying off. Miss me. I think. Right, bit of bit of lacquer. So while Andy's getting to the end of this and just uh, carrying on with what he normally does and sorting it out, Andy's doing Andy's covering for Rich next Tuesday evening, so you can watch him again on this channel next Tuesday evening. Um, he's got a couple of small little projects he's going to do and Rich is asking me if he would and I'm going to do Tuesday lunchtime instead of the Thursday lunchtime which I let everyone know about so rather than uh, Andy do lunchtime and evening we're spreading it out and then Andy will be doing next Thursday evening again Yes, it, it makes sense. He can, he can put his feet up in the afternoon, and uh, it gets a bit heavy doing two in a day, doesn't it? Yeah, it seemed ridiculous, you, and we could when easily you, swap. When you reach my great age, anyway. Hmm. Right. That's that. Now, apart from the fact, oh, there it is. I'd lost the other one. Well, I shall whip this on the sander. Just take the back off it. I put a fairly fine grit on there, so it mm -hmm. uh, gives it a reasonable finish. I I'll tickle them up by hand later, but um, no, oh god, management's got a list of jobs for you, mate. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> tough. <laughs> That's better. And is it that one? No, it's not that one. Must be this one. Yes, it is. I'm glad if I can find that. Oh, let's turn that light off. That'll do it. That's better. That's better. Now slide it to the headstock a bit more. Right. Okay. Could you? That's it. Whoop. That's it. Your centre of the frame now. And there it is. Just focus it a little bit better. That's better. There we are. The finished job. Well, it's apart from having well the, the yeah. edge taken off, but I'm not going to waste your time. It's, it's a really boring bit. No, you've only got 10 minutes left, so uh, I'm pretty sure we can guess that, and you'll put a picture up yeah. when it's finished anyway. I will, so I will put a picture up, yes, indeed. You can all see it. So, uh, good one, mate. So, there we are. Pretty
time pressures are on on this Thursday, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday night. No, Thursday night one. Yeah, aren't they? Basically, and I've been down the museum all day, so it uh, keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble. <sighs> so good. Well, thank you very much. I don't know how many people are left, but uh, uh, thank you very much, all of 29, you. Twenty-nine, I can see at the moment. Twenty-nine. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's good. So. There's the link for Rich's Live. Which Thank you. Is yeah. in 10 minutes. So if you'd all be good enough to pop across there and uh, support him and also support Colin, Wood Wizardry by Colin to give him his full definition. Just bring Keith back on. There we are. Yeah, she was talking to you. <laughs> this is a really crappy camera, but uh, I don't normally look this blurred. And that's what we've made. Actually, that doesn't show the colour at all well. It's no. much more red, much more red than that. It was on <laughs> one of them when uh, when you were running it through. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It won't be on that one. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah, that's that's better. It's a yes. bit distant. I can't bring that camera down anymore, but I can lift this up towards it, I suppose. Yeah, that's a that's a better colour. So, um, Martin's. What? at Woody's Creations is suggesting that um, Alison wants to play with you, mate. Yeah, yeah. I saw she she wrote something in here saying ready for a game ha, or ha, something. Ha. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ready yeah. for a game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not that sort of game. Um, <laughs> no, I'm pleased with that. That's that's come out well. So uh, it's it's always it nice. It looks good, mate. looks really when, good. When you're sort of pushing to get it done, it's nice when it turns out all right, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Always is on these things, and that yeah, the, the little time, the time constraint on the Thursday evening is is the yeah. Uh, yeah. biggest yeah. issue that we have on this one. But, yeah. uh, and the little bits of black in the background, I think, really just just make it. They just, just lift it a bit. It gives it mm. a bit more interest. So because it's a very bland piece of timber, apart from that one stripe across it. So good, lovely. Well, thank you very much, everybody, and thanks for the nice comments that are coming up. I see. Okay, there's loads of comments coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, all, all yeah. positive. Um, so, if you've all like it, can you uh, hit the thumbs up, guys, please? I'm glad, glad I tried yeah. the other camera because somebody said the color that coloring is much clearer, even better than I thought. Mm. So that was worth worth doing. Yeah, yeah, hit the thumbs up on the way out, guys. Yes, please. Yes, uh, please. Thank you make very sure much. Make sure you're all ticked to be subscribed, and uh, you've hit the bell so that uh, you know when Andy's coming up. Allison's off. She's had enough of you now. Yeah. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock. She'll be going to bed. All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like being when, I'm, when I come in. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much, everybody. And uh, see you again on next week. Tuesday. Next Tuesday uh, evening for your live. And yep. Tuesday, Tuesday lunchtime for lunch yours. time for my live. And we both worming for each other so there'll be the pair of us again the the famous uh, double act yes yeah the double act <laughs> or not so famous yeah <laughs> so good okay i'm going to press the button good night everybody and uh have a have a jolly nice evening if it's that time of day or a nice lunch time yeah. if it's not bye, bye everybody